All right, you guys, so this is the fish room, okay? Uh, just gonna give you guys a quick update here, guys. I really appreciate you guys getting me to 100 subscribers. Um, you know, and uh, like I said, I was stuck at 98, 99 for a long time. And I want to give a really quick shout out to Mixed African Cichlids on Google Plus. Go, guys, go check them out if you haven't. All right, a great, 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 great group of guys. They're actually the ones that helped me push over to 100. Okay, and uh, it seems like the momentum just never stops now. Okay, so really looking forward to 200 subscribers. Um, I wasn't prepared for the 100 subscribers, so I did not, um, you know, you know, uh, get, you know, do something for the 100 subscribers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a video, give you guys an update on the fish room, uh, pretty full detail, what kind of fish I'm keeping in there, and things like that. As you guys noticed, the name has changed from Cichlid Dreams to SA Monster Fish. Okay, so the SA stands for South American. All right. So as you guys can see, you guys were seeing a lot of South American fishes here. Uh, a lot of them are going to be monster fishes. Um, some of them aren't, but a lot of them will be. And excuse the finger and the thumb there, so I just use my phone. Okay. So anyways, um, when I uh, get closer to 200, uh, 200 subscribers, you know, I'll uh, do some kind of giveaway uh, once I hit 200. Okay. Uh, but when that time comes, I'll make another video for it. But uh, I'm going to try to start making more and more videos uh, on how my setup is and stuff like that. Uh, just so that, you know, hopefully it can help the community out and uh, give you guys ideas on what else that you can do to, you know, to run your tanks and stuff like that. All right. And uh, some money saving tips and stuff like that because this hobby can get expensive. But anyways, this is now what I used to have over here was actually a uh, 40 gallon breeder. And uh, what I have now in here is actually a 40 gallon long. And uh, this actually, this tank actually, as you guys can see, there's no, there's no hang on back. And there's no sump, but there is a canister. So uh, this tank was actually bought from a local fish store. They had originally used this tank as a salt water fish tank. And uh, so it's got dr holes drilled for sumps. But uh, what I did is I plumbed it so that I can run the canister filter on it, okay? Uh, eventually I might go sump, I'm not sure, I might just keep it the way it is, but for now, this is how I have running. I like it, uh, makes it easy for me to do cleanings and stuff like that, and water trade, uh, water water changes and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get on to it. What's the stocking on this thing, right? So the stocking, as you guys can see, is this beautiful black arowana, all right? So he is growing out. In this tank guys okay uh, I bought I got this black arowana back a few months ago okay and um, you know uh, I got him back a few months ago and uh, it's only been about maybe a month and a half sorry and he's already grown about a good two inches so he's growing pretty fast so you got him at about six he's at about eight right now okay uh, and then also what I have in here is an electric blue Akara and I actually got that fish because we were at the fish store, my son wanted a fish, and I told him to pick, and that's what he picked. So he's got good taste, beautiful looking fish. And then what I also have here are two platinum angel fishes, okay? Uh, growing out in this 40 gallon tank, okay? So that is the 40 gallon long, and that is what is being stocked in there, all right? And then over here, and then you know below that is actually a 20 gallon tank, that's my hospital tank. Um, and it's a small one, but you know, I got other tanks that I also use for hospital tanks. But anyways, right here is the 180 gallon grow out and the 29 gallon grow out at the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what's in here growing out. Okay. So right in here, I had to turn the flash on kind of freak the fishes out a little bit, but right in here is uh two little baby peacock basses okay uh these guys is uh that one right there is an intermedia uh he's only about two and a half inches and where's the other guy at let's see if we can find him uh, i'm not sure there he goes right there that is a cowberry all right so i just got done feeding these guys there's some leftover food i still have to take out uh, but they are nice and full. And then I've got these three angel fishes in there too. And you guess some of you guys might be wondering, am I growing these guys up together? 
Well, the reason why I have them and I'm growing them out together is because when I got these two little peacock basses, they were so scared. They're just, you know, they're they're very finicky fish uh, when they're small. Even when they're bigger, uh, like my bigger ones, they're still very skittish. Um, you know, the, you know, the skittishness goes away as they get bigger. But uh, they're hiding. They just would not come out to eat. And so uh, they didn't eat for a few days and I had to go get something small that, you know, swims around as a dither fish. Uh, not for aggression, but for them to not be so skittish. Okay. And uh, I got these three angel fishes there. And uh, those guys swim around without fear. And uh, they uh, keep the peacock basses out in the open and comfortable. Okay. So uh, they come out, they swim, they eat, things like that. So that's why I have the three angel fishes in there. Okay. And uh, so what I'm going to show you guys here is now the 180. All right. So this is the 180. Okay. So the 180 here, uh, I used to have, uh, if you guys watch my old videos, I used to have the 125 here. And uh, I actually have a 180 now. And the reason why I got a 180 because it's got a deeper footprint and a little bit taller tank. Uh, gives it more swimming room for the fish to to grow and to turn and stuff like that so I can keep these guys in there a little bit longer uh, They'll you know probably good for another couple years before I have to upgrade my tanks But uh, that's why I went from the 125 to the 180 Okay, but what I have in here is I'll show you guys here the one right there with the big nuchal hump That is a cowberry, right? And then the one right below him, which is kind of like a bluish gray that is an azul, okay? And these guys are still uh, small juvies. I mean, they're not full adult size yet. They're not little fingerlings either. They're, you know, they're all between 10, uh, 9, 10 to 12 inches, okay? And then this dark guy here, he's actually the tank boss. He's actually colored down a lot right now because, I don't know, some days he's colored up. Some days he's just drabby like that. But when he's colored up, he's good looking. All right, and I'll catch some good pictures or good videos when he's colored up and you know show them to you guys And then the other guy I have here is a Singyu, okay, and uh, this guy is still growing too uh, I got him in September at around five or six inches and uh, he's somewhere around seven eight right now and He is starting to transform colors are coming in and everything and he's starting to turn out to be a beautiful fish, okay? And then what I have in here also is um, a flag tail. That's my cleaner, guys, uh, for this particular tank. Um, <clears throat> and I got to get one for the other tank, too. But, guys, this is, I would say, hands down, in my opinion. Uh, see, like, these guys are still, still skittish. So even at this size, they're still very skittish. Um, I probably got to get some kind of dither fish to swim around here so they're not as skittish. Uh, but they're still a little skittish as you guys can see they just jumped okay um, But the, the, this flag tail is Hands down best cleaner to eat all the leftover foods to eat all the Algaes all the build, all the slime buildups on the glass and stuff like that. I don't even know what that stuff is called I just call it slime buildup um, <laughs> um, All the buildups that you know is on the any of the algae that's on the uh, uh, the, the, the driftwood the rocks Man, he eats it all. I really ever, ever have to clean my glass on the tanks, okay? Um, and then in here somewhere, I don't know where he went, but I've got a red-tailed shark. If I can find him, all right, I don't know. There he goes right there. Red-tailed shark. I mean, you wonder why this red-tailed shark is in there. It's not a South American fish, um, but uh, I forgot where it's originally from. But uh, the reason why I have him in here is because I got him when he was about inch, about an inch, inch and a half. And that was a couple years ago. And he's been with me ever since. He's actually one of the first fishes that my son picked up and went to the local fish store uh, when, we got, when I got back into the hobby. And um, he's grown up to be four inches now. And uh, he doesn't get picked up by the peacock bass. Amazingly, they don't chase him. They, they don't think he's bait fish or anything like that. Um, they just, you know, chill out with them. He hides in those little rocks, comes out to eat. Um, you know, he also helps keep the, you know, the, the uh, rocks and um, the tree, the driftwoods clean and stuff like that. But, um, you know, they don't mess with him. So that's why he's in there, okay? Uh, sometimes it's weird. You, 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 you get fish that they just get along, 
Okay, it's fish that aren't get aren't meant to get along, they get along. <laughs> so I have them in there, all right? Uh, but that is the stocking for the 180 guys. Um, now we're gonna move on to the 265, right? Okay. So here's a 265 guys. The 265 gallon main show tank right here. Okay. Uh, as you guys can see, some of the stocking in here has changed. I'm going to turn these lights off because I'm kind of like having a lot of glare. All right. But this is kind of like how I usually sit at night anyways. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> this is a 265, guys. Uh, this, the, the, Like I said, the stocking has changed. I don't have the red pikes anymore and the red pike anymore. Uh, I sold some fishes, um, you know. Uh, to some of my friends and stuff like that because they wanted them uh, but anyways let me give you what i have now okay so as you guys can see these are the three silver dollars all right these are three silver dollars that are in this tank okay um and all the way in the back there that is a lima shovel nose catfish it is not small it's probably a good 14 inches it's just the way i have my video i have kind of like my wide angle on so it kind of makes the fishes look small uh, over here, this is the biggest guy in the tank. Uh, he is the Orino. All right. Uh, he's an Orino. He's probably a good 13, 13 inches. Um, there goes another Orino there. Uh, right here. Okay. Go to the side of the tank here. Right. That's the other Orino. And um, right here is one of the models that I had ever since uh, he was about the size of a finger. And originally when I got them, that's the other model. So I have a male and female. Okay. The one on the left. Okay. I got these guys the size of a pinky. And uh, they were sold to me as Ocellaris. And so, you know, like, you know, when these bass are really small, they, they a lot of them look alike. And uh, it grew up to be a model. So I a lot of my videos or my pictures, I always I post them up as Ocells. But uh, come to find out they're models. So just want to let you guys know that is the correction. Now what I have here guys, hopefully he'll turn around, it's beautiful fish. That is my pride and joy, my precious fish besides my uh, Orino, that is my 24K Calberry. Okay, so as you guys saw the other tank had a Calberry that's like yellowish green. This is uh, 24K Calberry, the collection points make these fish have different colors. Okay, and uh, this fish here is a wild caught Calberry. Uh, straight from South America. Um, when I got him, uh, I got him at about uh, five, six inches, and uh, he's somewhere around 12 inches right now. Okay, so that is my Calberry. That's a 24K Calberry. Uh, he is different from the other Calberry. All right, this wide angle lens makes these fish look kind of funny, but that's what I have on. Anyways, and then as we move on to here. That is the Matoro Stingray. These guys get huge, all right? Uh, this guy here, I got him at about 6 inches. And uh, he is somewhere around 12, 13 inches now. He's fully rolled, ready to make some babies. He's already shed one of his bars already. Uh, he's on shedding on his, he's on his second set of bars to be shed, shedded. Uh, he's ready to make babies. He's, I just got to find him on a female Stingray. But, you know, we'll see if I can find one, okay? So I'll back up here, guys. This is what I come home to every day. I'll, uh, you know, let me pan here. I'll uh, turn the lights off, turn the tank lights on, and turn the fireplace on because I live in Minnesota, and it is cold up here. And we're also in the basement. So I turn the fireplace on. I enjoy the fireplace. Just hang out with my fishes, you know, things like that. You know, if I'm not hanging out with the family or the kids. And uh, this is what I do. This is my view right here. Okay. So I'll sit in my rocking chair. And this is what we do right here. Full 360 view, guys. And actually not 360. 180. <laughs> so. <laughs> but anyways. You know, uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Come, come into the channel. Check out this video, guys. This is the 100 subscriber video. I really, really appreciate it. Again, shout out to Mixed African Cichlids. Shout out to all the new subscribers and all my previous subscribers. I uh, appreciate you guys staying subscribed. 
I'm going to start to make more videos as much as I can. Uh, I run my own business, so I get pretty busy sometimes, and that's why I haven't made a video for a long time. Okay? Um, but I uh, really appreciate you guys. And uh, I wasn't ready to... I wasn't ready to cross 100 subscribers. Uh, I think I was sitting at 98, 99 for a, quite a while. And uh, I got back onto Mixed African Cichlids on Google's Plus. And uh, within just a few days, it pushed me over to uh, 100 subscribers. So I'm active. You know, the reason why I'm on Mixed African Cichlids, um, I used to have uh, African Cichlids, which I'm going to eventually get back into them. But, uh, you know, well, that's how I got into that forum. And even though I don't have those tanks right now, those fish right now, uh, the guys over there are some awesome people. So if uh, you're not on Google's Plus, uh, on Mixed African Cichlids on Google's Plus, go check it out, guys. Uh, we, we go by MAC, which is Mixed African Cichlids, all right? Uh, check us out. Join the forum. Join the group. Uh, we, help, we help everybody get subs and stuff like that to get you going, all right? Um, like I said, I appreciate those guys over there. Uh, you know, and uh, they help me uh, get pushed over to uh, 100 subs. Okay, uh, if you like this video, guys, subscribe to it. Uh, ding the notification bell because I will be making more videos. I will be making more videos, and I will be, uh, you know, basically kind of show you guys how my setup is, my filtration, to hopefully help some of the guys out there. Um, you know, figure out how to get their setup going. Or how to set it up differently and still be as effective and things like that. Okay? So, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.